what we've seen from the likes of Balenko in the black boat and the red cap. Joseph Dostal was in amazing form earlier today in the K1, 500 meters to win the gold. He's in lane six. Zhang Dong, don't discount him. The Chinese sixth place at the Olympic Games goes in seven. Arthur Peters from Belgium in eight. Augustin Vernis, the exciting young Argentinian in nine. We're underway with the final of the K1 men 1,000 meters. There's Fernando Pimenta in pitcher. Normally gets away to a good start. The best start, though, goes with the Spaniard right at the top of the pitcher in lane one. Francesco Cubolas, not necessarily surprised there from the Spaniard. I would expect him maybe to settle down a little bit more as we get to the, uh, towards the middle of this race. Fernando Pimenta, you can pick out his red cap and black boat, fairly distinctive there. It's right up there. Lane nine's right up there. Augustin Vernice and also just beginning to look ominous. He has looked in wonderful form. The man who holds the world's best time. He's only in his early 20s, already competed at two Olympics. He's already the Olympic champion. There he is in picture, Valent Kopas. Well, this race always had the possibility of being Valent Kopas versus Fernando Pimenta because we saw that at the World Championships where Pimenta got the better of Kopas. We saw at the Tokyo where Kopas got the better of Pimenta. And this is what it's turning out to be. We always see a story develop in the K1000 meters. That's what makes it such an exciting race. And we're seeing that here. The two black boats, Hungary against Portugal, Kopas against Pimenta. And when compared to the previous race we just saw, uh, Pimenta and uh, Kopas might not be aware of how close they are to each other. So right now they're just focusing on their own race plan, their own game, what they are doing the best and hoping for the best. They are really interesting that there's a bit of a gap between them, isn't there? Not certainly in position, they're very, very close. 0.29, Pimenta's behind. Argentina doing well in third place over in lane nine there. And almost stroke for stroke. Interesting, their stroke rates were almost exactly the same as they approach the 500 meter mark. Now we're getting towards about 300 meters to go. It'll just be interesting to see whether one of these paddlers goes early and tries to pick it up before he gets the 250 mark to put the other under pressure. Also, we do need to watch for Tom Green. He had COVID just over a week ago. He's in picture there now, and he's stalking these two. You can see them ahead of him. And Tom Green has got a pretty awesome finish on him, so we'll have to watch for him. Seems like Kopash is taking the lead on slight amount in front of uh, Pimenta, but uh, we all know these athletes are really, really strong throughout the whole race, so Pimenta might have more under his cap until the end. Yeah, we're getting to the last, we're about the last 200 meters now, so we'll see whether Pimenta really needs, they've just gone through the 250, they're coming up to 200, and really, Pimenta needs to pick it up, and that is exactly what he's doing. Yes, Kopas has the lead, but Pimenta now, he's only a meter or just over that behind Kopas, so we will sense it. Kopas might be aware of it, Kopas is going like the clappers now, he's picked it up once again, his stroke rate has gone up, there's nobody else in his world apart from that finish line, he can sense the red boys are coming he may well sense that Fernando Pimenta is coming has he got enough this is quite a phenomenal athlete that the Hungarians have found here Balint Kompas the Olympic champion Fernando Pimenta in the red cap is throwing everything at him and he's coming back there's still strokes to go there's still another 10 seconds to go yet has Pimenta the great champion the experienced Portuguese has he got enough it will be all on the lunge for the line Pimenta's gonna have a go at Kompas that is so difficult to call. Nobody talks about the German. Jakob Schoff came late to the party to pick up the bronze. But that is two of the greatest athletes we have ever seen in this event, just going toe to toe, duking it out against each other. And we'll have to wait for the photo to decide that one. Indeed, such a close finish from both athletes.